What's going on guys? Zach here. So I am on another adventure. I got hanging with honey right here. I got got abandoned places with Blake. And then I got salute 7777. So make sure uh, if you want to check those guys out, I will leave the links in the description below. So we're going to see what we're going to see, explore what we can explore. So come with me. Let's get it. TFO tomorrow Friday is over <laughs> this massive gothic style Methodist Church was founded in 1925 by dr. William Grant Seaman this was one of the largest Methodist churches and the Midwest is seized as a place of worship in 1975 after a relatively brief life of just over 50 years Look. Oh, it's huge, guys. The construction, beginning in 1925, took 21 months and cost $800,000. The first service was held in the church on October 3, 1926. The sanctuary at the forefront of the structure is part of a much larger nine-story complex, which included an adjoining theater called Seaman Hall, which could seat 1,000 people and contained corporate offices, a gymnasium, a Sunday school, and a dining hall. So guys, what do you think? This place is pretty cool. Comment below, let me know what you think this place is legit. This place is so cool. I mean the columns, guys, I just can't. These, these four columns right here, let's see. Uh, boop, boop. And that one way over here, boo. Those columns are huge. Huge. All right, guys. Should I go this way or this way? Mm, let's go this way. There were plans for a bowling alley, but this was never built. A rooftop garden on the roof of the hall was never finished. By 1927, the church had a congregation of 1,700 and a staff of six. During the Great Depression, the church leased part of Seaman Hall to Gary College to gain much needed additional funds. In the post-war years, the Indiana University Center used part of Seaman Hall, and by 1949, Indiana University Northwest occupied three of the floors. The church reached the pinnacle of its popularity in the 1950s, with membership surpassing 3,000. After Gary declined in the 1960s and 70s, the church's fortunes began to likewise crumble. The church lost large numbers of members to white flight as Gary's social makeup altered and better off inhabitants moved away. Look at the tile, guys. Look at that. Off. 
By 1973, there were only 320 members in the then aging congregation, about a third of whom regularly attended. After attempts to sell the building to another congregation proved fruitless, the decision was eventually taken to close the church in 1975. By the 1990s, the church was already starting to decay, but was then severely damaged by a fire in 1997, which accelerated the deterioration even further. Oh, there is an upstairs. What's going on, guys? All right, so let me know what you think of this. This is not bad, it's pretty cool. Obviously, the complex is still standing since we're in it, but, much is beyond any realistic restoration and has been placed on Indiana landmarks, 10 most endangered places in Indiana list. Most of the interior fixtures have been removed by thieves. In 2011, part of the roof of the sanctuary collapsed. In 2014, the city authorities revived an aborted plan from the early 2000s to turn the site into a large park in which the sanctuary would be the centerpiece and to demolish the rest of the complex. All these clothes. So check it. Wow, what's in here? I wonder. Get in there. No, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm not gonna try to. Whatever, it's kind of soft, especially going down these. That's it's why. Soft? Is it wood? It's, it's hard to explain. It's like cement, but it's all the bits on it. I think people went down. down there. I'm gonna go down. I went down there before. You have? Is there a lot? Is it worth going down it? It looks like a tunnel. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Did you already get upstairs, buddy? You need to get to Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> oh, it is metal. Look at that. Oh. You can tell it's decaying. Yeah. So, there's a possibility it could fall through. Could be. Uh, yeah, there's a possibility at this place, for sure. But... Uh-oh, is that an alarm? Yeah. Is that time to go? No. I just have teleport. Okay. I'm not. This is a Catholic church. Yeah. This is a Methodist. Yeah, Methodist, yeah. Uh, it's just kind of wet, mildewy. So there's no going on it? Not really. I mean, there's like low plasma. Dude, look at that. Look, that's like so deep in water. Oh, wow. Well, my last thing was all flooded. Huh. It was all flooded? No, it wasn't. Oh, nice. They used to get over there, and then it would lead to another section. Dang, there's stairs. What the heck? I always like having this one just to have like, you know what I mean? The what? Just have a Yeah. Sometimes that fucking place is huge, you can't get enough light in the morning. Oh. Now. Wait, wait. Is this all stalactite stuff? Yeah. That's crazy. Which one? The second one I'm about to step yeah. on? Oh. Oh, that one. <laughs> she looks a lot better than the one. Oh, let's go check 
this house. Oh my gosh, look at the ceiling. It's like totally falling apart. There's the AC duct. Hey, Halo. It's almost like the theater that we were just in, but smaller. It got a lot smaller. safer. Classrooms. So, so, oh, this was probably. Oh, this was the ball away from the water. I had the water in there. Wow. So, wow. Expl Exploration Nators. Urban Explorationators. like the classrooms. Wow, that was a wall. Look at the carpet. Goes right, goes right outside. Just goes right outside. Hey, look, Pikachu.
this was the gym right here. Whoa. This is cold. It's a gym, guys. Another, hey, look at that, guys. Another fireplace. Would you imagine that? AC? Oh wow guys. Look at the oh, AC unit guys. <laughs> so, I'm going to explore this. Let's see what we can see. Oh wow. There's actually one camera angle right here. Oh, dude. What's going on guys okay so we saw what we saw filmed what we filmed and explored what we could explore i hope you enjoyed this uh this cool cathedral methodist church um but uh it, it's a pretty cool place um so let me know your thoughts of this place um and what you thought i mean i love hearing from you guys i love to hear your comments so if you're new to this channel make sure you hit a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell it's very important to hit the bell so you stay updated on every video so peace i love you until next time god bless